Today we are opening a box of rare Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, today we have another box opening and inside there are some rare Yu-Gi-Oh packs sent to us by Yu-Gi-Bo. We're gonna open this up and see exactly what he sent. Inside we have, oh, oh, check this out, looking nice. There are two X Saber power-ups. We'll talk a little bit more about these and why they are special when we get to them. We've got a Gladiator's Assault special edition. This is gonna be pretty nice. Then we have some blister packs. All of these are purple if you notice because we are doing this video for pancreatic cancer if you guys remember or if you didn't know Yugimo lost his dad Papamo recently to pancreatic cancer so it's a very important thing for him to support and obviously I want to support him as my friend and we did some battles against Papamo so it's always an awesome cause so we're gonna have a link down below that you can support you can just donate if you guys feel the need you don't have to of course but it would be awesome if you would before we get into the opening let's do a giveaway I'll be giving away all the sacred beasts from the Megaton plus the retrain of Rave all you have to do is like this video be subscribed leave a comment regarding pancreatic cancer support or any Anything in the opening let's get into it let's start off with this abyss rising and by the way this will not be the only video yu gi is gonna have his own video as well so I will link that as well so there's gonna be a couple links down below one if you guys want to support yu gi and then the pancreatic cancer link so you can check those out we got the deep sweeper metalizing parasite Falcon noble arms Arfa Dirt. okay yeah I, I don't know that guy's name snow dust dragon and the cha cha chenbara Abyss Rising is actually a really cool set. We've had some pretty good pulls out of here. I think you can get like Bahamut Shark in here. You can get, there's a Ghost Rare in here. I can't remember what, exactly which one it is. It's probably, is it C32? Is that the number? I think that's what it is. I'm not sure exactly when we're seeing this, but Brothers of Legend is coming out this week. I'm not sure if we've opened it yesterday or if it's tomorrow. It, it just depends. We've got a lot of dates. I got to work around for different videos. But uh, it's going to be soon. I can't wait. We're going to, we are going to be doing a live stream. You should see this before then. Opening until we get Drew Good. We will not stop until we get Dragoon. It's going to be great. Starlight, by the way. Sudashi, I love that card. Rage of the Deep Sea. Madolce Marmalade. Yeah, literally going to open packs of Brothers Legend until we pull Dragoon. That's probably going to be a very long live stream. Like, very long. It's going to be fun. We haven't done one of those since the Stardust. Hopefully, it's not that long. I don't think it would be because there was five Starlights in that one. There's only two in this set. We'll see, though. If, if you guys remember, we pulled 10k Dragon on the first the first case. So, uh, that would be nice. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Madolce, take it. We got the Bull Blader. Electromagnetic Bagworm, Spellbook Star Hall, and the Heroic Champion Gandiva. This is a two level four warrior. Okay, so he's a little specific, but he's a rank four. Very nice. And then we got Heroic Gift and Grendrum. Let's try out a Photon Shockwave and see if we can pull that Ghost Rare. I know Yukimo has pulled this one. I think, what was this one he pulled with Papamo? I think it might have been. They pulled two against me. If you guys remember, I think, I think this was one of them. No, maybe it wasn't. I can't remember. He's pulled so many ghosts now, it's hard to keep up. Vylon Ohm, we got the Heartfelt Appeal, Eviltile Gephyro, Champion's Vigilance, the classic Duel Links Blue Eyes card from the OG days, Photon Booster, and Sealing Ceremony of Sweeten, Monster Slots, and Fiery Fervor. Okay, a little bit of a slow start, but we've got, we've got a lot of packs to go, and there's a lot of good potential in these packs. Like, one big pull could change everything. Another Photon Shockwave. I still need this Ghost Rare. I'm still a little bit salty about the, uh, the, the one I had lined up, and then the guy sold it anyway because he got more money. Um, but, you know, that's just how it goes. Pinecono. I'm still a little salty about this. Maybe we can pull a, a Ghost Rare. Wind-up Warrior. Zen, Zen Mark. Mark. Murmur of the Forest. Murmuring, murmuring, murmuring. Plasma Ball. The murmuring did not help. Okay. Vanilla. <gasps> what is this flavor text? We got to read this. This rabbit's got a sweet tooth. He's on a quest for the world's sweetest carrot and just wants to nibble carrots all day today, tomorrow, and the day after that. This is a real card, ladies and gentlemen. 2050 defense. Can someone explain to me why he has 2050 defense? All he does is eat carrots. I, I don't really understand how he's defending himself here. Let's go. Let's keep going. I don't know. That was interesting. Abyss Rising first edition pack. Let's go. Planet. Pathfinder, love that card. Snowdust Dragon, Abyss Scale, Heroic Advance, Gagagigo the Risen. Here we go. Is this is this it? Is this the moment we pull something big? It's not. Marill Abyss Lung. Okay, Abyss Lung. Is he just a lung? You know, he can breathe underwater or something. I thought they could all do that. Well, I guess if he has a lung, that means he could breathe above water. So he's oh, interesting. But I thought all mermaids could do that anyway. Or can they? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember if they can. I'm pretty sure they can, though. But maybe it depends if it's Little Mermaid or Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know. Zen Mark. We got the Wind-Up Warrior. Damage Diet. Needle Sunfish. Daybreaker. And 
Photon lead. This has been rough. This has been rough. The Acorno. What a stud. The Acorno. Look at those eyeballs. If I saw that out of an acorn, I'd be freaking out. Three more blisters before we get into the special editions. And that's where the real, you know, the craziness begins. I mean, this is already pretty crazy. These packs at this point are very tough to find. These Photon and the uh, Abyss Rising. They're getting old. I mean, it's amazing to say they're old, but they are. Champions Vigilance. We got the Rabbit Dragon. Oh, the Creepy Coney has returned. Laval Lance Lord. Gym Knight Emerald. And finally... Photon Saber Tiger. We got the Ray Rider, a Corno, and one day of peace. Okay, we've got another super, so we've got an Ultra and a Super so far. I don't know if this is considered a battle. It's sort of a battle. Um, we're losing if it is. Abyss Rising. Come on, Abyss Rising. Give us something good. There's some good cards in here. Bahamut Shark is the one I can think of off the top of my head. I know there's some good ulties, but I can't think of what they are. Uh, isn't is there a um a Medolce ulti in here that's big? Isn't that isn't that the set? How's Dustin? All the Dustins. Is this like, is this like uh, Game of Thrones? House Dustin. The House of the Dustins. Slushy. And. All right. Lemuria. All right. Not the most exciting there. Final blister pack. We've pulled two foils. Not the best. So let's uh, see if we can step it up right here. Photon. Shock. Wave. Let's do this. Wave of the Shock. Let's go. Eviltile. Gephyro. Champions Vigilance. Rabid Dragon. Creepy Coney. Baby tr Tyragon, not Triagon. And Alexandrite Dragon, the card we pull literally every time. It's a cool, it's a 2K four star. I mean, you gotta love it. Just summon a 2K monster. I mean, it took them forever to actually add that to the game. <laughs> now we are on to the special editions. I think we go with an X Saber power up. And now we will mention why these are so cool. Inside, you could possibly have first edition Stardust Overdrive packs and first edition Ancient Prophecy. Those did not come in booster boxes in North America. So they're very difficult to find. And this is one of the ways to find them. Hopefully, we have some inside. Let's open this guy up. We have two of these. And then we got, of course, the Gladiator. Gladiator's Assault, and inside that one, yeah, we'll get to it. You guys know Magic Formula. In here, this is the reveal. This is where we find out if this is a dud one, or you get unlimited, or if it's not. Let's see. We have, okay, unlimited. Usually, Stardust Overdrive is the one that's first edition. Sometimes these are first edition. Okay, those are not. Oh, it's a dud one. It's all unlimited. All right, still cool, but not as exciting as, was, as I was hoping. All right, though they are duds and unlimited, still exciting if we get those ghost rares. So let's start with Hidden Arsenal, probably the least exciting for sure. The other ones are pretty big. Oh, we get the Brianak. That is awesome. That is definitely one of the cooler cards in the set. We will take that. I'm actually really excited about this card. This card looks really cool. It's very good. It's a very good card. Wow, that's that's a pretty nice pull. That's about as good as it gets out of Hidden Arsenal. So we're at the Berserker Crush. Cool. I like the Syngros a little bit more because I've had a chance to use them in the uh, in Duel Links and, of course, the Auction series. I've just, you know, they're growing on me a lot. You know, I didn't used to care about Syngros that much. Let's go. We have Ancient Prophecy. We can still get a ghost right here, even if it's unlimited. I'd take I'm down. I'm down. Genetic woman. Water hazard. Fortune Lady Light is the next card. A foil. Quacky Mirror Boulder. We have a literal boulder here. Alright. He kind of reminds me of Nose Pass, except with like a smaller nose. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Let's go on to the next one. I think Stardust Overdrive is a little bit better than Ancient Prophecy, so we'll we'll leave that one for last. Ancient Prophecy it is. Fossil Deeg. The card got reprinted a lot. Flame Vault Counter. Cyborg Doctor. It used to be a dollar. Oh! 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 Small talking! It's a ghost rare! It's a fairy dragon! We're recording, right? We are recording. Oh! Yugi Mo is not going to be happy, guys. Hey, at least it's uh, supporting a good cause. This is the time. Go donate if you guys want to support the pancreatic cancer research. Oh my goodness. Ghost rare, ancient fairy. Yeah, we got to post this ASAP. We finally got one of these 5Ds ghost rares. I've been searching for one of these. I mean, for years at this point, and we finally got one. Oh my goodness. What's in the rest of the pack? Magic Cat. I, I didn't think there was anything in that pack. I just was just going through it. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. What was I even talking about? Who knows? <laughs> oh, we pulled it. Look how beautiful it is. The centering is terrible, but uh, who cares? The corner's a little ding. This is probably just going to go in my ghost rare binder. Just as a memory of this moment. This is awesome. Yugi Mo, thanks for the packs. Appreciate it. All right, on to the next pack. Can we possibly follow that up? We still have a lot of packs left. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that was a good one. All right, Spider Spider. We got the Ritual of Grace. Can we pull the, uh, what is it, what is it, which one, which ghost is this? This majestic shooting star, majestic star, majestic star, I think is what it is. Ghost chair? I'm down. 
Uh, Witch of Fate and... Alright, Sea Panther, yeah. I actually, I don't know if I could have handled another Gosher. I almost died right there. <laughs> well, like, it should be over. We got a long way to go. I mean, if we pull, like, Magic Formula right here... I mean, we've had good luck recently. If you guys didn't see, like, my best opening... One of my best openings ever that I posted today, go check it out. I mean, it was... The pulls were insane. So, this is just following that up. We've had incredible luck. Alright, we've got a Vortex Trooper. That is a super rare. We will take that. Fine. Could you imagine if that was a first edition pack? I mean, I said I'd take the Unlimited. I was right. So, about these Gladiator's Assaults. They do come with one Dark Crisis. And then inside these, we could pull very rare secret rares such as Magic Formula, Necro Face. Then, of course, there's a Ghost Rare in here, the Chaos Neos. There's the Chaos Neos. And then there's not the Misprint and Unlimited because it only comes in first edition. The Unlimited version is in Tactical Evolution. So, we can't get that one. Let's go with Dark Crisis first. We had some good luck with Dark Crisis the other day. Pulled the Exodia Necros. We pulled Shinado out of first edition. Yeah, we've had great luck with Dark Crisis. I pulled uh, Exodia Necros first edition too wait oh yeah i was thinking the other day i don't have a psa 10 necros but we pulled one so it's still at psa hopefully it'll come back at 10 staunch defender it's all coming back now archie and Roar, that's a lot of trap cards in a row thousand needles different dimension i don't think you get a foil as well i think that's just it yeah iron blacksmith katetsu all right ancestors of dogla Okay, nothing crazy there. We've got two Gladiators Assault Packs. It would be even crazier to pull Magic Formula out of here. That, or Necroface. Either of those would be... That'd be even crazier than the Ghost. That's the only way we could top it, I think. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. We've got the uh, the Parry. Hoplimus. Cloudy and Squall. Natural Disaster. <laughs> Alien Talbot. This card's actually worth a little bit, I think. And then Light Imprisoning Mirror is a pretty good card uh, back in the day for some of those techs for the side deck. Final glass pack, and then we go on to our final X Saber power up, which was pretty good, huh? <laughs> pretty good. All right, let's get these out without any damage. Glass. Battle Hallberg. Sparta. Natural disaster. Super Alloy Beast Raptinus. And. Gladiator Beast Laquari. It's not a bad one. Demakari. But not what we're looking for. On to the final special edition. Can it possibly beat that first one? And the answer is no. It, it can't. I mean, it can, but it's probably not going to happen. Maybe the other Ghost Rare from Stardust Overdrive. I don't know if that's better or not. And then we had a Brianak in that too. That was a great special edition. Or we could pull two Ghosts. That is technically possible because there's no real ratios out of these special editions, which is the cool part. X Saber Fulham Knight. Three packs. Let's start off, or four packs. I always forget about hitting Arsenal. Let's. Okay, it's right at the front, so let's try not to ruin it. Let's go like this. Let's see if we... Oh, yeah. That actually worked out pretty good. Let's pull this out like this. Very nice. Well done. Oh, I just ruined it anyway. All that to ruin it. All right. Blame... I always pull this guy. Uh, Magician, Worm, and Apocalypse. All right. Uh, Ancient Prophecy. Can you possibly live up to what we have just done? Wait. EX Gamer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I did this to you. I opened all those packs for you, and we didn't get it. Now I get it. Arm Sea Hunter. I was playing this in one of my decks. And dual links. Water Hazard. Ragaguda. Solidarity. And Spirit Burn. Wait, did the, I think the ghost came up before Blackwing Fane, the Steel Chain. I think the ghost came before the rare, didn't it? Because I think that's why I was so surprised. Because I wasn't ready for the foil to pop up. I think that's what happened. Battle teleportation. We got the white potent. I Aegis. Fishboard Blaster. And Falcon B. Yeah, Magnum Bar. We have not pulled a we haven't pulled anything besides the ghost rare, so that's why I don't know where the placement is. Final pack of the video, guys. It's been crazy. It's been awesome. Make sure you guys go check out yu gi -Oh's video, and if you want to support the uh, pancreatic cancer research, check it out down below. Let's go into the final pack. We've got Level Eater, Spider Egg, Reptilian Scylla, Reptilian Spawn. Wait, is that it or not? Fortune Lady Dark? Uh, maybe this is it. I don't know. Spider Spider. All right. Okay. So overall, this video was pretty rough on the foils, but we got the one foil we actually want. So it's totally worth it. We got to take one more look at this. One more look at that beautiful Ghost Rare. How can you not think Ghost Rare is the best rarity? And just let me know down below if you don't think Ghost is the best rarity. If you do, support it down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos coming up. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Hawaiian, Yu-Gi-Oh, Stanley, Mike, Nance, Mimic Gecko, and Duelist Kingdom Cards. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.